Hi guys, Shamdek here. Welcome back to Hidden Agenda. I know it's been a while and you'll have to excuse me. I am getting a cold. So I'll probably randomly mute myself to blow my nose in that. But we are back. Everything looks like it's good. That did work, so that is good. Okay. Last time I couldn't see chat, so I wanted to make sure this time that I could see chat. So. That looks like it's all taken care of. And again, this is a game that you play with your phone. That's why you see the whole connect thing at the bottom. And it cuts off to C in my name. Hello, Zoomy. I see the smiley face in chat. So, we're going to continue where I left off. Hopefully finish this. With uh, some of the opposite choices. What I made last time. Going right back into it. There is a multiplayer option in this game, but it's kind of annoying. Like some of the hidden agendas. They happen too often, and some of them are kind of silly. That's the I only thing. I cannot believe that you would even I'm think- I'm trying to help you. You know what, Carl? Go fuck yourself! I got an achievement for that, by the way, for her swearing at him. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, uh, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. So I guess I was just refreshing my memory what I did last time. Because it's telling me the same thing. It's like, look through everything you already did last time. And then I know I talked about last time before we finished, so... Okay, continue... Mm -hmm. Man, this is just going to go through a summary of what happened in part one, I'm guessing. But yeah. Let's see what happens. In my last playthrough, I actually took the, um, confession to judge. Valstone, Fanstone, and he released, what's his face that I can't think of right now. Jonathan Finn. This time I didn't, so that's a whole new part and like getting a new partner. So, <clears throat> some new things that happened. And now, Part two of Hidden Agenda. I know, part two. If you're trying to do the face that I made, you made it wrong. Hey. 
Hey, Simon, how you holding um, up? Hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. This whole thing is weird that he's sergeant. What happened to okay. the other sergeant? Okay, guys, can you settle down? Listen up. We lost a brother today. Another one won't be returning to duty. But they say they're Could have been a lot thing. worse. I know this is a dark day for all of us. Calvary was... <sighs> he was a tough son of a bitch. Nobody thought he'd go out this way. But I'm gonna need you all to keep your nose to the grindstone until we crack this case. Okay, so what do we know about the explosives? Was it really supposed to take us all out? We know we got lucky. The explosive was intended to blast outward, but he managed to angle the body towards the wall. We're all very grateful for your quick thinking, son. I, uh, I, I just feel lucky I still have my hands. As are we. Unfortunately, Officer Montesinos wasn't so lucky. This can't really be the trapper, right? Could be this Adam Jones. Could be the hooker. Right now, we're saying Calvary was taken off the payroll by a copycat killer. Maybe someone taking their cues from Finn and the Clink. Due to her close proximity to the case, we're being aided by Prosecutor Felicity Graves in this investigation. Detective Marnie, I want you to go over Calvary's old case files, see if anything tracks with the previous trapper hits. See, before I was restrained, so this time... We're gonna go annoyed. Paperwork, Tom? You want my fingers doing all the work while this guy's still out there? Detective Martin, you will do what's required of you, do you hear me? Five by five, Sergeant Nelson. Okay, people. Can't let the fly start buzzing. We got a job to do. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? <sighs> I don't know. It's just like shit on shit. I can't get a break. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hey, don't stress out any more than you need to. You do have an alibi, remember? For last night? Look, when I saw Finn in the lockup, he did offer to help. So? Well, if Adam Jones is real, he might help us find him. Well, it's complicated. Need a judicial order to get him out of cold storage. Yeah, wow. Good luck with that. I'm going to talk to the judge. If it's a real lead, we got to check it out while we still have time. Uh, this is a new option completely. You know what? He could be useful. He could be useful. I hope so. I mean, I'll speak to Judge Fanstone. If he agrees, will you be on the detail? Yeah. If I can get out of the dungeon. Carter. Marnie. Why'd you need an alibi for me last night? You really want to get into this now, Becky? Yeah, I want to know why you don't trust me. Becky, hey, come on. Everyone knows about the bad blood between you and Calvary. You really got to cool it. Some of these guys think you're not all there. You could lose your job. So bad blood equals murder suspect. It's kind of a stretch. You had motive, Becky. I'm just doing my job. Doing your job and suspecting your partner. Why do you keep pushing me? You could rest. Hey! You keep pushing me and I'm gonna push back. You really wanna threaten your partner right now? So, Jonathan Finn claims this Adam Jones is responsible for the 2012 Trapper killings. That is what he claims. And now the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Yeah. Are you buying it? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far it adds up. 
Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? There's no way to know unless we try, sir. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Uh, I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody. But only for three hours, no more. Thank you. All the updates. Rip all that. Becky threatened her partner for not trusting her. Felicity and Judge Vanson at court discussed Finn's story. He was given a day release. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. All right, where should we go first? Orphanage. Well, last time I did, I went in order. I went to the verse victim, the orphanage, and then the orderly. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have to go through all of them anyway. Um, you know what? Let's go to the orphanage. First. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. We got this. Look at TV. You know, you gotta watch all fun things. You know, since this place caught on fire and then was condemned, do you think they want to demolish it? or something. You distracted me with your comments. I didn't get a chance to look for everything. Oh, snap. I didn't get a ripple event. Becky found evidence about Father Minsky doing some stuff. 
I guess we're about to see what that evidence is. That's the one thing that I don't like about this game overall, is that it shows you everything before it actually happened. So I know all the ripple events and stuff, and I can read it before you'll actually see it. So it pretty much spoils you. Unless it thinks that you're so absorbed that you're not going to notice that. We found the playroom. I don't know what that one piece of evidence was that oh, I was Oh, hello ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa. Look at the figure following me. Um, I saw a train. I don't know what you're talking about. Marnie, well, I just came from Vanstone, and he's let Finn out under armed guard. Headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? I found Romanski's playroom. Anything there? No, not much, but... He and Calvary had one thing in common. Hookers. Interesting. There's more. Someone was creeping around Las Palmas. It could have been nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Hmm. I'll see you at the house. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Just chop him. Don't get any ideas. Flap Good to him. see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. Are you gonna help me out or what? See, last time I was nice, I loosened him a little bit. So this time we're gonna be a jerk. <sighs> How's that? So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. I saw the same question. What if he face planted on those stairs? Can't catch himself. This room right in here. 
This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. This is this is his, not some squatters. Squatters wouldn't dare. Shamda. Is it Shamda? What is all of this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. It was a pretty good one, too. <sighs> Traps, of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. Adam's father. We found something. Just soon. need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop had get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in the ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off. Right in front of Adam. The judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Murder's murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed, parents failed, system failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. Uh, last month and not for me to decide. So let's have another If I've been hurt like Adam, yeah. I'd want them to pay. Yeah? <sighs> you know, I used to think. Maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is... something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well... Danielle and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. They went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Raminsky pay. Call it in. Son of a bitch. My God. The hostage was in on it. This is Officer 609. We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. Center copy. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to take up the case. You're gonna be all right? I think it's time we all got out of here. Hold up, I need to talk to you alone for a second. Just you.
You've run out of chances, Finn. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Eighteen hours. My phone is saying, look at TV. Let's do the order. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. I'd like to have a little chat. <coughs> this is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. I don't gotta do anything. No. I just wanna talk to you. What the hell you wanna talk about? Put the gun down. I just wanna talk. Keep calm. I didn't do this before. Las Palmas before. Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Just stay back. Gonna drop my weapon. Okay. See? I only want to talk to you. God damn it. Ooh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Yeah, I can and will be used against me. Yeah, story of my life, lady. Yeah. Let's go. I didn't want to shoot him. And I didn't want to get shot. That is new. I did not do that last time. I was like, oh no. He's gun jump. I thought he was gonna jump. I didn't know he had a gun. Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Mm, what's to ask about him? Adam Jones. Ah. Uh. What can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. 
Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Dirty cops ain't news, LeMay. You ain't got shit. Yeah, you gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Be restrained. Get this piece of shit out of here. Back telling the truth about his brother about the cops the whole third precinct was dirtier than a truck stop toilet the uh, whole precinct yeah I kept my nose clean but it wasn't easy sergeant teller was my boss for Christ's sake we have to tell someone about this no reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud you're not wrong but it doesn't feel right sometimes you got to break a few eggs Carl The good old thing. Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. So, Frankie LeMay had an arrangement with the third precinct cops to cover up a drug dealing racket. That's the information I got from that. Okay, we're back investigating Calvary's crime scene. Eight twenty three PM revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. I spoiled it for everyone. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the um, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Nanny King. Now what is that? That ripple event, though. Son of a bitch. Gotcha. We done did it. Can Nanny Cam really hook up into your phone? I mean, I wouldn't know. This is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Hey, look, it's our stalker friend. Oh, my God. That's from the orphanage. <laughs> wow. 
Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. The camera contains secret footage of Calvary's murder. That was my ripple event update. Contacts. Who would you like to call? Do I get a choice? Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity? Hi, Becky, what's up? Can you meet up? I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, Temple Bar? Great. I'm not drinking this time. That is all I have to say about that. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Dun dun dun. And when I hit continue, it shows you everything that I would read to you that's in my phone anyway. So we're just gonna continue if everyone's ready to continue. I'm good. I think you guys are good. So let's go. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, this is telling you everything that was updated in the biographies and the ripple events. That's the ripple event right there, the one. So. I shouldn't have threatened him, but it's opposite of what I did last time. I never did this one before at all. At least I was able to talk him down. That's such a funny picture. I still have to figure out, I'm sure there's ripple events that come from him escaping and a whole different part that I have yet to see either from him escaping because then of course you'd have to go through and probably re-find him or he finds Adam Jones first sort of situation, I don't know. That's still a whole different thing. And now, part three of I Hidden Agenda. The last part. I think it's only three parts. I know it's only so many hours long. But yeah, the whole not drinking thing is because, let's just say in another one I was drinking and then some shenanigans happened. The guy on that video, in the hoodie, same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Yes. Pretty sure. Head to the bar. All right. So, the Tucker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them, and he sets up the trap. The thing that I'm stuck on. Where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom, and the hoodie guy comes out. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. Maybe the trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. Be paranoid. No one's ever safe in this town. Maybe the trapper's working with Daniela Cardenas. She could have been the hooker with Calvary. Well, cops are all out looking for her, 
So I'm sure she'll be brought in for questioning soon. Maybe Finn's right. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. <sighs> yeah. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. All right. See ya. I'm gonna say I didn't drink this time. Oh god. This is all new. event was so small and so fast. I kind of want to exit and then do it again. <laughs> you know what? That's what we're doing. Heck yes. I will not be taken this time. I refuse. I refuse to be taken. I apologize if we have to go through the bar part again with them talking, but I refuse. Because I know what happened, and I already did it, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> it's a very intense scene, and you can go watch a previous video of mine and see it for yourself if you're curious what happens, but I don't want to relive that situation. I'd just rather avoid it. Not only that, you're a cop. Why would you leave your car unlocked at a bar? What person leaves their car unlocked at a bar? Nobody. Oh, I don't get the option. Well, I tried. I guess I won't know what happens if you don't get kidnapped. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. This makes me so sad. I don't think I, if I do another playthrough, I'm not going to stream it though. So that way I can see by myself what happens. You know who I want to track down, down, Daniela? You're in a lot of trouble, young lady. Suck my nuts. Finn's come clean. You know you weren't a real hostage back in 2012. Look, I get it. You and your sister went through hell. The cops did nothing. Carl. They failed you. And you wanted to make them pay. Adam Jones, right? He offered you a way to get back at them all. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, and it's a felony. But 
help us out. Maybe we'll let bygones be bygones. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and Izzy, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know. He's like a cop doctor or something. Detective Carter, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of something here. Now. And if you don't, don't put go anywhere. two and two together and who it is now. There's been an abduction. Judge Vanstone. Witness says it was Becky that took him. But it wasn't. See, this whole thing wouldn't happen had I not been taken. Well, I mean, Judge Vanstone would still be kidnapped, but I wouldn't be the suspect. So I know at least this part would be different, but it makes me wonder who would they have taken instead or blamed it on. No, I'll never know. I wish I could just, like, pick a specific part to start over. They even dressed me like her. Even though I said I was going to do the opposite of what I could last time, I can't let him die. I would just... What the fuck? Oh, God. Judge me soon? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What? 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 What did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? She? What? Was what? A, who? Who's she? Was a... a woman. A goddamn whore. What has she done? You don't want to know. My phone's going to be charged. the phone and fix the thing. No. 
can't promise you I'm not going to pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. I'm not gonna shoot him. I can't. I went through this last time. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Either I fix it or we're both gonna blow up together. Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 I... Shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Not much. Can we stop talking and figuring something out? Right now, we have plenty of time, okay? So let's, let's keep it that way. Stay calm, and then we can figure this out. So, if calm. you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! Becky, and she's not picking up. Do you know where she is? Felicity. I'm sorry. What? What is it? Becky's dead. I got exploded. Simon oh, Henry. He knew we were onto him. Motherfucker is going down. Simon Hillary is the doctor that magically knew that the bomb was going to explode and live from Calvary's um, crime scene, and for those that don't remember. Well, this is the first playthrough I've had where she died, and I've played this three times. I mean, I've only streamed twice. But, uh... Sorry, Becky. I mean, I've only killed you once out of three playthroughs, so... Your odds of living have been good. Now we're inside the boy's house, and I bet you he's not... Yep, cause... Man... Worst ending! That whole thing could have been different had I not been kidnapped. 
It was letting me move it at first. I mean, I don't know what would have been different. Earlier I'm today, clearly. Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Detective Marnie was killed in the explosion that killed Judge Vanstone. Officials have confirmed that Marnie is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Nelson made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. Which is lie. Because if I hadn't been abducted, then I could have done something with that this lady. This is a dark day in the police force. Custody. We are taking every step, including a rigorous internal investigation, to ensure that this kind of travesty of justice never happens again. The goddamned medical examiner. How do we miss something like that? Good police are in short supply around here. And now there's one less. Well, now I, I already told you everything home. I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Do you know someone named Simon Hillary? Marnie, she's a tough nut to crack, and yes, she's got a lot of baggage, but I should have trusted her. She was right. And what about the charges against her? The charges? I think they're bullshit. Thank you. We didn't do it. We did not. This is it's a good game. It has a compelling story for the most part. It just doesn't after you replay it so many times and you just don't I don't want to replay it again, but I wanna know like the small differences. But I don't think it's worth replaying through everything to find those small differences. Like I said, it wasn't bad playing with friends. We had fun when we did it. It's just, like I said, there was too many hidden agendas that popped up, and some of them were still silly. Because you'd be in the middle of a cutscene or something, and all of a sudden the game would pause and be like, here's a hidden agenda for a person. Ta da! So, and we were only, it was only three of us, so it wasn't as exciting. Because if it wasn't you, then you only had the option of it being one other person, well, two other people. So, I think it would be better if you had more people as well. They, I think it said recommended like five or six. So if you, I definitely think you need at least five or six people to play to actually make it interesting, compelling discussions. Because it's heavily discussed, that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. Uh, overall good, just a few minor dislikes. That was only, it only took me an hour. I feel like I should stream something else. I'm just letting the credits go through because I don't remember if there was anything after. I don't think there was. 
But I thought since, you know, Simon Hillary, a.k.a. Adam Jones, his real name, since he got away, if it would show anything about him afterwards or what. Because, remember in my first playthrough, I shot him. I shouldn't have shot him, but I shot him. Also, you can only go to two past places that, um, however you went to before. Excuse me. more that would have popped up after it, just to make it worse. Keep. Oh, here we go. This is new. He's buying some rat traps. This. There's Mr. Simon Hillary, Adam Jones. Wow. You must have had some heck of a rat problem. Uh-huh. My thing is, though, is how did they never look that up before? And I know if I continue, it just goes back to the ending and the credits. So that's a new cutscene. So it was worth the wait. Man. That's the thing that thinks is that if you hit continue, it goes right back to the end. And you can't continue from a specific point. So, I can't go back to that point or the beginning of part three and play from then on to try to get it. But why, game? Why? Well, anyways, I guess that's it for this. Like I said, I'd probably just take the option that I'm doing, look it up. Someone else probably has the differences. Because I don't feel like streaming this again. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream something else tonight, though I feel like I should and kind of want to. I just don't know what or if I'll wait and do it tomorrow? Well, it is tomorrow. It is Friday. For me, anyway. Um, but we'll see. I'll post and let everyone know. Thank you for coming out and watching. This will be uploaded on my YouTube channel at Shomnet Gaming. So you can watch it. You can watch my other playthrough of it. Put all the pieces together to see the differences in the choices that I made. Some of them I did make the same ones. Like I said, I could not bring myself to shoot Judge Vanstone in either one. Yes, he wasn't the best judge, but I still... My moral compass is too strong. I couldn't do it. Simon Hillary, though. I mean, he was a murderer. And he put me through all that stuff. I just... I was like, no. Well, then I thought, you know, maybe they would shoot him in the leg or something, not shoot him and kill him. You know... 
my logic here, shoot him in the leg, he can't run away anymore. Not in the chest. I don't know. I understand it's easier to hit... I would assume... Can't say I understand, because I don't go around shooting guns. Um, but... Probably easier, you know, to hit that area than to hit legs, because they're moving. I don't know. Anyways... Have a good rest of your night, day, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I will either see you again a little later, or maybe tomorrow. But, bye for now.